All right, for uh, superset number two, we're gonna do an upper body movement followed by a lower body movement, okay? So our upper body movement will be a vertical push, it'll be a uh, shoulder press, uh, and then we'll follow it up with our lower body movement, a hamstring curl, which will obviously work the back side of the legs, the hamstrings, glutes, even that low back. Uh, so for this one, I'm not gonna adjust the uh, multifunction uh, attachment both times uh, to show. Uh, if you're going for speed, you can do it just the way I'm going to show. If you want to take a little more rest in between each exercise, then you could bring these uh, up here for the hamstring curl piece of the movement, and then you could reattach them down here. I mean, if you're on, if you're on the blog, I'm sure you're familiar that these can come down here as well for the shoulder press, so you're probably familiar with the different uh, accessories uh, that the Total Gym has uh, available to you. I'm going to show it without this, and I'll show you what I mean just because I want my transition to be quick. So after I finish the shoulder press movement uh, for 10 repetitions, I'm gonna spin right around, get right in, and go right into the hamstring curl. So very little rest. These supersets, I like to try to keep them tight, if, is, what, is what I always say. I wanna keep the two movements tight. So as soon as you finish one, you go right into the other one uh, to keep them as close together as possible. So for the shoulder press, again, we could attach these down here so you've got a little bit more uh, of a convenient grip. Uh, or you could press right from the floor or even use uh, the end of the total gym, which is what I'm going to do here. So to set up for the shoulder press movement, I'm going to line up the shoulders right towards the edge of the glide board here. So shoulders are here, hands are going to be here. So even with this, you can keep a neutral wrist. Some people, uh, depending on the exercise, if you put a lot of pressure on the wrist, it might be uncomfortable. But holding the edge here, my, hand, my wrists are still fairly neutral here. So nice neutral spine, keep the feet up a little bit, and we're just coming down, reposition a little bit right here, and then I'm just extending the arms all the way. So neutral spine so you don't have to look way up and really arch that back. So it's just down and up. Okay, so I'm getting 10 reps here. Full extension again, extend the arms all the way, bring it all the way back down under control. As soon as I finish my 10th rep, I'm gonna sit on up, spin around, Sit my butt towards the top of the glide board. Heels in first. Okay, then lay down under control. And I'm good to go, right into the hamstring curl. So I'm driving my heels into the pads, getting my butt as close to my heels as I can, then extending the legs all the way back out. Back and forth. Alrighty. So again, 10 reps of each. If you don't want to readjust, take these off every time, you can get a much quicker transition and again, keep the, that rest as short as possible.